Hello, my name is Sucker, and today we're doing a no upgrades run. Batman Arkham City. Let's start. First, we have to do all these Catwoman sections, which really sucks because I have the Return to Arkham version. But they were pretty easy for the most part. Next, I did all the whole intro, yada yada yada. It's pretty boring stuff. Saved Catwoman is still pretty easy. But when I got to the church, it got hard. Just look at this stuff. I actually died trying to do a speedrun technique. Don't you move, Ben. Where's the guard? He's vanished. He disappeared. Screw that. He's gonna get us. He's dead. I probably just did it wrong like an idiot, or I have a lot of skill issue when it comes to this game. But I did platinum in this game, so I probably just don't know how to do it. After the church section, I wanted to get that grapnel boost upgrade. But sadly, this is a no upgrade run, so I'm going to have to stick with the normal grapnel, which is going to be really annoying to do and use. Then during this combat section in the steel meal, I actually almost died, as you can see, with my health bar. And I even beat this game on hard mode. I don't understand why it's so hard for me now. However, the moment after I flawlessly do this predator room. Did you hit? Please don't do it again. Sorry, Doc. Harley wants you to hurt for not fixing up the chicken. Huh? Get over and find out who's screaming. Over here. You. Stay quiet, Doctor. I'll be back after I teach these punks a lesson. Not flawless, but it's at least something, right? I got finished with the steel mill and got gassed by Joker, and then I had to play as Catwoman. Yeah, when I got to Ivy's place, I almost died on this combat encounter with my health bar. Getting a taste of what Oracle feels, I fell out of a window in a wheelchair. I went to the GCPD building and died on this predator counter. Um. Yeah, I don't even want to show the whole Predator counter because it's so embarrassing looking back at it. Then I died again on this other Predator encounter. You could say I'm, I'm not really good at this at all. I then went to the museum and realized that Pangy um, is cheating and is using stuff to not let me get in, which is not really fair. So I thought two could play at that game, but I was wrong as I died again. But I bounced back up and destroyed all the jammers, and uh, I don't want to explain what I did next. I wanted to try this out, uh, shooting a wreck gun at the helicopter. Um, it got, I didn't know it could get angry and start firing at me. I don't know how I'm this bad after getting the 100% on uh, this game, including DLC. I don't know how I'm this bad. Um, but then I died again. I didn't know I could get spot from the air. Then I died again. I was trying to fly in, and I got shot up. I then died another time. I'm starting to think about adding a death counter. Let's do it. Seven times is not as much as I think I would. Have but um, I died a second, a uh, third time. Yippee! I finally got that last jammer that I died to so many times. As I was going up, I forgot I didn't take these two guys out, so I had to take them out with my hands. I went to a gladiator pit, even though I was this close to dying again. And I guess I was walking as on thin ice because I walked too fast and Tiny got me. Add another death to the counter. Then I somehow accidentally fell in the water and died again. 
And then I died a third time. Who could have guessed? I wanted to go save Freeze, but I guess he needed something. He needed a suit, is what he needed. So I went and grabbed it, and uh, I defeated Penguin. It was a pretty easy boss fight. Oh, that's right. We've got Solomon Grundy right beneath us. So I defeated Grundy really easily. Somehow I died more times to a shark than in the actual boss. Oh, and I defeated Penguin. I needed Raish's blood, and this girl worked for Raish. So I used her to get to Raish. I then got really close to death right here, as you can see on my health bar. But I made it past anyways. I then die again, because apparently I know how to die a lot to the stupidest things ever. On the topic of death, Batman is actually dying. Yeah, Joker, bad blood, you know, the whole thing. And I make it to dead parents percent. And I did some trials that weren't that hard. Pretty easy. Anyways, I died! But being the god gamer I am, I passed. But me and Rach had a little disagreement. I almost died, but I came out on top as the winner. I then rescued Quincy Sharp. Never really liked this dude, but he gave me some information about Hugo Strange. Yet Mr. Freeze was being really rude to me and wanted to fight me. It was not nice of him to do so. So retaliation, I disabled his gun. So I beat the living heck out of Mr. Freeze. I then saved Vicky Vale right after that. Went to the steel mill and died again. But we're close to the end, so it can't be that high of a death. I'm hoping less than 15. I went inside of that whole thing, and I was fighting Joker in the fun house. And let me tell you, it was not fun because I died. I mean, what could you have expected from me? I don't think my less than 15 is going to work. And sadly, back to Catwoman. Excited of playing as her. When I got to Strange's Vault, I almost died again, but I was able to slide out away from this dude. I then destroyed this plant, and I never knew you could actually do this. Guess you learn something every day. I proceed to go save Batman as we're in the final stretch of this game. Protocol 10 then happened where the whole city got bombed. So I did some hacking on one of the helicopters so I could make it to Wonder City. Or Tower. I then died. I don't think there's any chance of me getting under 15 deaths anymore. Then the saddest thing happened. I died again. <sighs> It was a sad death and a failure. But in retaliation, I went back to the Wonder Tower, went to the top of this tower, and defeated Hugo Strange. Once and for all, and stopped Protocol 10. Race was behind and all. Tower exploded, he's dead. Now we're talking to Joker, he has Talia, my girlfriend. Batman's girlfriend. I was gliding around, and I got spotted out of nowhere and died. Again. Anyways, I went to the theater, Talia died, Joker was fake, Joker's still sick, Clayface is now the big bad, throw Freeze Blast, destroy him, and victory is mine. At least I thought, until I remembered. I remembered Catwoman. Final boss is really Two-Face, and playing as Catwoman is annoying. So we still have one boss left to go. But I died again, in the gladiator pit. I can't, I can't with this anymore. 18 deaths. I said I wanted under 15, but I died again. Yep, again. And I defeated him. So, the question is, can you beat Batman Arkham City with no upgrades? Yes, you can. As you see here, here's some proof. Wayne Tech upgrades, 0 out of 27. Catwoman upgrades, 0 out of 6. So, thank you for watching.
so subscribe